look what we have today y'all what is it tacos yes I just got off of work and I am starving and I decided to make some tacos so I'm really hungry I'm gonna dive in I'm probably not gonna be talking a lot even though I've like have like a hundred things in my head that I want to talk about and I don't know why it was just when I was making the food I was all like oh I'm starting a YouTube channel so I want to I want to start talking about things anyway I got stuff like this to put on it and this and this and every time I see this and use this now I think about TikTok and the song why people talking tonight y'all I can't <laughs> and look okay so every time I eat tacos I always have um uh, I got some cheese dip which let me show you I have it right here for y'all if you have never had this this is seriously by far the best white queso that you can get outside of a Mexican restaurant screenshot okay I have low carb tortilla shells and these are the ones that I use. Why? Because they're smaller. And you can have one for 35 calories. But what people are really concerned about is the three net carbs. Because it's smaller. But look. It's not really that small. So I made myself two soft and four hard. There's no way I'm going to eat all this. I just wanted to be pretty make it look pretty like uh Nikocado with all my food and you probably I'll probably have to do something and raise it up here something like that but anyways this is my second show and I'm red and I think it's because I'm nervous and as much as I want to do this and as excited I've been to do this I don't know I start getting flustered when I do it I have no problem talking. I have no problem cooking. Okay, back to the nachos. Lightly salted. Every time I eat nachos, like at home, it's too much salt on the chips. So I'm like, let's try. So not only is this a taco mukbang today it's also going to be a food review because in these tacos not that you would ever be able to tell by looking at it let's see who can tell it's not real meat what is it it's emerge I love, I love, 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 um, Beyond, I love Impossible, I think Impossible is the best, then Beyond, Emerge, I've had the hamburgers before, but I've never had the crumble, it's not crumble, it comes in like a little pack, like a, like a pound of hamburger meat, so I got four tacos, hard, two soft, hamburger meat, cheese lettuce sour cream and I have all this stuff to go on top I'm going to dive into one of these because I am starving hard tacos are my favorite oh and I got cilantro on top of these okay hang on now the reason why I got mild and not hot well they've been out of hot everywhere since the pandemic but I also always get mild because my little girl likes the mild and I don't want it to be too spicy for her so I got this for me the Valentina to go on top 
for the spice. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna put some Ortego taco on. We got the tacos, <laughs> y'all. I can't. Okay, here goes. Y'all ready? So it's got emerge hamburger meat. Well, fake meat, um, cheat shredded, mild cheese, lettuce, sour cream, and Ortega mild sauce, Valentina, and cilantro. Mmm. 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 Mm. We try this again. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh my god, it's so good. I do notice old oh, McDonald's cup filled. I do notice that okay let me just explain this impossible tastes like hamburger meat I don't care what anybody says impossible ground the patties the impossible whopper whatever you want to call it I love it tastes like hamburger meat to me. It might be because I haven't had hamburger meat in so long. 2007, this is 2021, August, will be 14 years. Oh. Let's see. What do they do? Oh my god, it's so good. Okay, look, 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 look. <clears throat> Let's try this. This stuff is so good. It's called cilantro lime sauce. I thought it was a little salty. Uh, I don't know. Don't have that much salt, but. Mm. Why ain't it opening? I haven't used it in that long, but. Mm. Okay, there we go. This stuff is so good. I'm gonna put a little bit on it just to try. Hmm. What does that taste like? It tastes like a. Oh my god! What is that? It's like lavender. <laughs> anyway, um, so this is really good, y'all. I don't know if I've ever had that, but um, I like the fresh cilantro. When I was younger, I hated it. That tastes like soap. And it's so weird because no, when I was younger, I mean I'm old, I'm hitting 42 next this month, and there wasn't a you know there wasn't the internet and sh stuff like that, so people couldn't look up what kind of taste the cilantro have, and they can't say oh it has a soap taste. No, when I was younger, I hated it. Because I thought it tastes like dishwashing liquid. And it's so weird. And now that I'm sitting here talking about it, it kind of does. It tastes like dishwashing liquid. But it's a good dishwashing liquid. And maybe that's what I was getting from that sauce just now. I don't know. This is a soft one. Let's try it already. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, I'm struggling. Y'all, I should have been Mexican. But then again, they call this white people tacos, so I don't know. And here's the thing. <laughs> I had everything to make homemade guacamole, I had onions, and I had uh, fresh cilantro, and all this, beans to make bean burritos instead of soft tacos, um, I was going to have hard tacos, soft tacos, I mean hard tacos, uh, burritos, chips and queso, guacamole, and then have onions and cilantro on top, ugh, I just, uh, I was so hungry when I got home. I just so forget it. I made the meat, and I'm I'm really liking the meat. I think it's good. It still has like um like an artificial taste to me. It kind of tastes like like I said like a Salisbury steak. The impossible tastes like hamburger meat, and the emerge tastes like or. I know how to say it. Impossible tastes like ha uh, like a hamburger steak, whereas the emerge tastes like a Salisbury steak. Do y'all see this? Oh my god! All right. Mm. I don't see how people don't like sour cream. I don't see how people... Look, that looks like hamburger meat, y'all. I don't know, it's so good. Anyways. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I was sitting there thinking about like not being able to look up stuff on the internet when I was younger I remember being in high school and we went to the library to do a research paper using the World Wide Web. What? We had to do our... We had to do research. On the World Wide Web. I think Yahoo came out in the 90s. I think Google came out in the 90s. I was born in 79. And I was thinking about this the other day, like... TikTok is weird. I, I, it took me forever to get on TikTok. I finally did. And when I did, I realized that people are mean on TikTok. They're like, I thought Facebook was bad. And here's the crazy thing. I think what's going on is parents are letting their kids go on TikTok because they don't think it's bad. But their kids are what's making it bad. 
It's so crazy. Hmm. I'll tell you what, you, what I mean by it. I love Trisha Paytas. When I first started following Trisha Paytas years ago, I was like, oh. I thought she was entertaining. So that's why I started following her. Well, she's actually what introduced me to mukbangs. I remember thinking she was so pretty and you know this bomb bombshell and eating in front of people and I just thought it was so weird because when I was younger I hated seeing people eat like I didn't want to see their mouths move I didn't if people didn't cover up their mouth and you'll see me doing it and I'll be like talking and you, you know because it was like I guess maybe because I'm old enough to know about etiquette and stuff but don't talk with your mouth full you know I thought that Trisha Paytas was so pretty. When I saw her eating, I want to say it was pizza or I don't know, Alfred. I forgot what it was. I have to go back and look. Mm. Uh oh. And um, it was what people used to call taboo. But I remember watching Trisha. do it and I thought it was so cool I don't know I was like this is different so I started um and I don't know how I fell into ASMR it was weird I fell into ASMR some kind of way I want to say it was like 2015 2016 my 2015 But even then, everybody thought it was sexual. Which, I mean, I'm not saying it's not. A lot of it is. But. Trisha Paytas is the reason why I started liking mukbangs. And I liked her and I liked it, but like I didn't have like a connection with it like I do now. Her. Now I love frenemies. I love, you know, watching her and Moses' journey. I love. I don't know. She's kind of like a, my own little reality star. Like how you, you know, like you, real world. I watch the original real world. It came out in the 90s and I thought it was so cool. I was like one of the first reality TVs. I watched the original Survivor. And that's like came out during my generation, you know. So I've always liked uh, reality TV, and um, I think YouTube opened up a lot of doors for people to be able to do it. Well, people are rude on YouTube and can be mean to people in the comments and be like, you know, keyboard warriors as they like to call them. But... But, um, 
um, TikTok is 10 times worse. And I think parents are letting their kids go on TikTok because they think it's more age appropriate for kids. But these kids are telling grown-ups mean, harassing things. This little girl told me, I made a comment on something and it wasn't nothing bad. It wasn't nothing mean. It was like me just like commenting on the person's page. Her name is Amanda. She's the Peppa girl on TikTok. And she was in this whole controversy because of um, she voted for Trump and whatever. I'm not going to tell that. But anyways, she was gone for a little while. When she came back, I told, I put a message on her page like, yay, I'm so glad you're back. And I liked her because I love food. I'm a foodie. I love, you know, anything to do with food. I've been watching Food Network since it came out in the 90s. Okay, so... I was watching Justin Wilson on PBS, LPB, whatever you want to call it before that. So it's just like, I've always loved food and I found her because I like food. So I said something like, I'm so glad that you're back. You know, please start making more videos. And I get a message, you know, like show up in my inbox and it said, This is what's wrong with the world. Death to all white people. And I like clicked on it and there was a little African American girl about 12, 13, no older than 14 years old. Maybe, you know, even 11, 11 to 13. 14 years old and I'm like sitting here thinking her mama probably thinks she's on TikTok to watch Charlie D'Amelio dance and you know this kind of stuff and she's sitting here spreading hate to me and I'm going on 42 and I, I was about to say something I like when I clicked on her page I saw how young she was and I was just like Go get a switch from the tree. I'll be there in a few minutes. And don't go anywhere. It's just something, you know, I don't remember exactly what I said. But I was like, go to that, go outside and go get, go pick your own switch. Like my grandpa, my, I'm sorry, my papa and my mama made me do. I was like, go get, go pick your own switch because you're about to get a whooping. Like, I can't sit here and tell a child something mean because she's sitting here discriminating on a whole race because I told somebody I'm glad that you came back on TikTok. It's just so weird. And it's so weird how social media has made people. Look, I'm going to take one more bite. And I want to tell y'all something. If you don't cook your taco shells listen mm. I can tell when I watch videos of people who don't cook their shells. I don't understand why somebody wouldn't cook their shells. It makes no sense. Okay. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Mm.
This is okay. It's been, but look, as you can tell, I like it. It's been better on other things, though. This definitely needed something spicy on it. I'm from Louisiana. We like spicy food. And guess what? It's February. You know what that means? Crawfish are in season. Mm. Done. Uh -uh. Mm. Done. <sighs> I'm full. I want to eat three hard tacos and one sauce. Just four tacos. Mm. And some chips. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I got an hour before I have to go pick up my girls. And I'll be able to relax until I'm gonna watch them. <laughs> Watch some TikToks. No, but thank you. I hope you like, subscribe, and enjoy my channel. Y'all, I love doing, I love, mm, I love reviewing food, and I love, you know, I love food. I want people to watch my channel because, I mean, I think it would be fun. I don't know. We'll see. This is my second video, and I will try another one. Maybe. I'll do one more, and we'll see how it goes. Or, this is February 3rd, 4th. I'm going to post this today, and I'll see what kind of reaction I get, and then we'll go from there and see what I do. Because, I mean, even though... I was going to have to cook and eat. I cooked early. Because I was going to have to cook for my girls anyway. So. I cooked early. So that I could eat. And film this. And do all this kind of stuff. Before my girls came home. But. You know in all actuality. I could have did it. After I went and got them. And. You know. Because I don't care if they come running in a video. Because that's my life. You know. I'm not trying to hide anything. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks, y'all.